we may soon be facing a shortage of key drugs in the United States when we may need them most. Many of the raw materials used to make common drugs come from China and India, and concerns are growing over our ability to get them from those countries. Ron Piervicenze is CEO of the United States Pharmacopeia, or is it Pharmacopia? You'll clear me up there, Ron, won't you? And Mike sure Manio will. is Director of Pharmacy and Practice at, and Quality at the American Society of Health Systems Pharmacists. Welcome to uh, both of you. Ron, clear, clean it up for me. It's Pharmacopia, isn't it? Uh, pharmacopoeia would work, but pharmacopoeia will, will do for today. So I'm curious about the, uh, about the potential for shortages. We've seen people going out into drugstores and buying, Ron, um, hand sanitizer, paper towels, those kinds of staples, and running the shelves dry. So it's easy to say, well, there's a shortage. But in the drug area, are the shortages potential? Are they real? And are they caused by people hoarding the drugs as opposed to a real supply shortage? Uh, fortunately, today, we don't have drug shortages except maybe one or two very specific things over the last weeks. Um, so the simple answer is no, we don't have one. Um, however, there are signs from the slowdown in industry we saw for over two months in China, which hasn't come back to full uh, capacity yet, which leads to shortages in Indian finished products, which many of those make their way here. So the question is, will there be shortages? There will likely be shortages. Um, we're seeing that in the interactions we have with Indian industry, that they're worried about some of their supply chains and that they're expecting there to be some shortages, which will affect the U.S. market since so many of our medicines are imported. Which drugs, Ron, are the ones that are most prone to those shortages that you point to? Well, you see, it depends on where the issue is. Um, you know, we had a couple of years ago, a hurricane hit Puerto Rico, and we had shortages of sterile products. These were injectables in the hospital because that's what was made in Puerto Rico. So what are the medicines made in China? Well, there's quite a few, but as we know, many of the antibiotics in the world, over 85% of the ingredients for antibiotics come from China, so it seems very likely that some of the early shortages will be disproportionately antibiotics and other antimicrobials. Mike, what, uh, what, what are you seeing uh, in, in your world, and do you agree with what Ron just said, that we may, we're not seeing shortages now, but we very well could see them, particularly in the area of antibiotics, where some of the constituent components uh, are made in China. I completely agree with Ron. We know of one drug for sure that the FDA has confirmed is in short supply due to the coronavirus. Um, but on the front lines, what we is have it? a lot of questions. What is it? We, we don't know the drug. Oh, they uh, won't FDA, say? They won't they will, say. It, it's considered proprietary information where these drugs are manufactured. So, that, so this outbreak is actually calling a lot of attention to a shocking lack of transparency in our drug supply chain. Uh, we, we know that this one drug is in short supply. If the FDA were to disclose, disclose that, what that drug is, it then uh, discloses who they're using as a supplier for, <clears throat> for the raw material for their drug, and that's considered proprietary information. Uh, on the front lines, we have a lot of questions like this with no answers. So pharmacies and hospitals are doing the best they can to plan for possible shortages. Uh, but right now, we don't know which, which drugs to plan for. As Ron mentioned, there's a significant portion of antibiotics that are manufactured in China. Uh, but we don't know exactly which drugs are and where they're made. It, uh, I, I'm, I'm really interested in that lack of, tr what, uh, my word, not yours, lack of transparency and what that could mean. Um, play that out for me. <clears throat> sure. Well, as Ron pointed out, there was a significant threat to our national security with these um, with the IV solutions uh, from Hurricane Maria. We did not know what was manufactured on the island of Puerto Rico when Hurricane Maria came in and devastated the island, wiped out the infrastructure, wiped out the manufacturing, uh, and we had a very critical shortage of these sailing bags that we use to administer basic things like electrolytes and chemotherapy and antibiotics. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing right now with this outbreak. We don't know which drugs are made in those plants. We know where the plants are. We know that about 15% of the plants that supply the United States market with raw materials, the active wow. pharmaceutical ingredients, are located in China. We don't know what's made in those plants, and we don't know what volumes are made. So what degree do we depend on those plants versus plants in the United States, Ron, Canada, or Europe? Ron, I see you nodding there yeah. in, a, in, in basic agreement. This is, a, this is unsettling uh, and, 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 and concerning. I mean, if, 
And what should we be doing to address what uh, uh, what Mike describes? Yeah, so it is it's absolutely right. Um, so I think two things. First, we hear from many parts of the, I'll call it the supply chain, but we're talking about parts of industry, uh, major pharmacies, health systems, just as Mike described, even drug wholesalers are asking the same question. How do I secure my supply chain for my patients, my customers? Uh, and the answer is they're not sure because they don't have the same information. I would offer that there is work we can do with what's available. We don't think that's been fully mined yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's just this is an issue that why we see it bubbling up here. It's generally ignored until there's a crisis. Um, but perhaps this time we'll remember to pay closer attention. At, at USP, because we set quality standards for all the medicines legally marketed within the United States and on behalf of um, over 50 other countries as well, we have actually some of our own information, which we're beginning to mine. And it's showing us that there may be um, maybe a little bit more out there that we can do the analytics mm -hmm. on, ultimately to provide to the industry to be able to do better risk mitigation. Because ultimately, there's no way to prevent all issues, but to have a better handle and be less surprised seems like it's a bare minimum that it, can be it, done. It does seem in lots of areas, and not just in this area, I've got to tie it off here, is that is it we prepare in the United States, we prepare badly and we play catch up pretty well. I don't know whether that's a fair characterization, but but it sure seems that way. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We appreciate your time tonight.